A flow volume loop is a graphical representation used in both ventilator graphics and pulmonary function testing to visualize the relationship between airflow and lung volume during a respiratory cycle. Flow is plotted on the y-axis representing the rate of airflow into and out of the lungs while volume is plotted on the x-axis representing the amount of air in the lungs. In a flow volume loop, the inspiratory phase is displayed above the horizontal line and the expiratory phase is displayed below the horizontal line. The shape of the inspiratory curve reflects the settings of the ventilator showing how the breath is controlled. When assessing the lung function of a spontaneously breathing patient, the flow volume loop runs in the opposite direction. When there is leak in the circuit, the expiratory limb may not return to the zero indicating that not all inspired air is exhaled through the circuit. A significant decrease in the measured tidal volume can also indicate a leak, as some of the air escapes before reaching the patient's lungs. Additionally, a lower than expected peak expiratory flow may be observed if air is leaking out before it can be exhaled through the ventilator circuit. A key indicator for airway obstruction is a scooped or concave shape of the expiratory limb suggesting difficulty in expelling air due to obstruction. Additionally, a decreased peak expiratory flow indicates a reduced maximum flow rate during expiration which is a common sign of narrowed airways. The expiratory phase may also be prolonged with the expiratory limb of the loop appearing longer and more drawn out reflecting the extended time needed to exhale air through obstructed airways. Air trapping in mechanical ventilation occurs when there is incomplete exhalation of air from the lungs before the next breath is delivered. This often results from a combination of high airway resistance and insufficient expiratory time. A flattened or scooped out expiratory limb of the loop is seen because the patient is unable to fully exhale due to trapped air. There will also be increased end expiratory lung volume leading to a shift of the entire loop to the right. The loop might appear to be stretched or widened horizontally compared to a normal loop. Airway resistance as a result of obstruction due to sputum or secretions is recognized by the sawtooth appearance of the loop. A smoother loop verifies that the suctioning of secretions has cleared the obstruction. A lung function test with a flow volume loop is used to assess respiratory function by measuring the volume of air a patient can inhale and exhale, as well as the speed of airflow. Depending on the location and the pathology, the flow volume loop helps in the assessment of the disease. I won't discuss on it as the lung function testing deserves the separate video in itself.